What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode. You guys see the title, you guys see the thumbnail. But before we get started, guys, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram, social media, all that good stuff at We Don't Cook Food. One more time, that's We Don't Cook Food, just so you guys are up to date with the latest and the greatest. Now, guys, as you guys can see from the title from the video itself right here, your boy was lucky enough to cook and hit the Amamanir Jordan 1s and my size 13. Yeah, I haven't been hitting on a lot lately, but I was blessed enough to cop these for retail. Retail ended up being 225. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a little review, showing you guys exactly how the sneaker showed up, what it looks like, and hopefully help you decide if you want to get a pair yourself. And I want to know if you guys were able to cop and honestly what you guys are doing with them. Are you going to keep them? Are you going to sell them? And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So, as always, guys, any sneakers that you see or any merch that you see on this channel, it's always going to be cooked and copped for retail. So, if at any point you need to pause this video, please go ahead and do so. Uh, for reference, if you need to do a legit check or legit versus fake, because again, everything is always purchased for retail from the retailer themselves. Uh, so, again, I was able to purchase my size, size 13. Retail ended up coming out to $225 with the shipping. Um, it's a little more than a typical Jordan 1 release, which is around $170. Uh, with shipping, might end up being around $180, $190. So I was impressed initially with the box itself and the presentation. I always love to see collaboration pieces come together that are actually dope and not, you know, just some boring stuff. And uh, this lid right here in particular I thought was pretty cool. It's a uh, Jordan... From I think the original promo for the Jumpman itself, you've got the Chicago skyline back there. And, uh, you know, I thought it was just a really cool piece to come together with a dope collaboration for the actual box itself. And I can't wait to show you guys what the rest of it looks like. So guys, without further ado, behind this dope little wrapping paper, here we have them. The Jordan 1 Amam and Air 1s. Sheesh! Man, my first reaction... <laughs> They advertise this pair as like a premium pair, and honestly, the leather's not bad. It's 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 kind of like a different material. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys a lot of like clear, crisp HD angles so you guys can really get an appreciation for the actual type of material. But um, the actual material, they say it's fe it features a premium sale suede with burgundy reptilian textural leather, and uh, that's definitely what we're seeing on the sides. So as this video rolls, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys all the good angles that you guys need to see. And as always, if you have any kind of uh, questions or anything like that, always pause the video. You can reference it at any time. Personally, one of my favorite features of these Amamanir ones is that yellowed sole. It kind of brings together like a vintage vibe to me. And I've really been into vintage pretty much my whole life. And I don't know, I just love that yellowed sole look. It just kind of looks like it's aged. The pre premium leather suede, um, or sale suede in this case, is it kind of also looks like it's faded and aged, so I think it's pretty dope. Um, this little tag that they included with the Amam and Air logo and the Jordan um, logo is obviously dope, and this is that reptilian texture that they were talking about before. And it's a piece of leather that we're going to end up seeing along the collars and the actual Nike swooshes themselves. So I'm really curious as you guys watch this video to find out your opinion personally. Um, I've showed this to a couple of friends and they're not all sold on how the texture of the premium sale suede kind of looks. But personally, I think it's pretty fire. It's different. I don't think I've ever seen ones that really look like this. So I don't know. I'm all for it. I think that whenever a company like Amam and Air or anyone gets the chance to kind of make their own collaboration... I think it's important to try, kind of change the game instead of doing just like a safe and simple colorway. Um, the official colorway for this sneaker, it's considered Sail and Burgundy Crush, which you guys can see highlighted in that reptilian leather. Um, but again, guys, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know what your favorite part of the sneaker is and if you were able to cop them for retail. Now, if you've been paying attention to sneakers at all over the last year, you've probably heard the name Amam and Air before. Uh, this is not the first time that Jordan has worked with them on a collaboration. And personally, I think they've got a contender for Sneaker of the Year between uh, their Jordan 3 and now this Jordan 1. 
Uh, the Jordan 3 Amam and Air released a little earlier this year, not doing too bad on the resale front. It actually released in, I think, June, June 10th, uh, 2021. Uh, this was another pair that was supposed to kind of feature like a little more up upscale luxury to the actual sneaker itself. Just because Amam and Air is uh, considered kind of like more upscale. And the thing with these threes right here is that it's actually a woman's pair, women's sizing. So if you out here working with a size 13 like your boy is, I totally feel your pain. And I understand why you probably don't own a pair. So yeah, the reason why I brought them up, guys, is just because it's another dope pair from um, Amam and Air this year in 2021. And again, ultimately, I just wanted to get your guys' general opinion about what you guys think. Uh, overall resale prediction, I don't think that these are going to go for a crazy amount. I don't know that they're going to catch on as high in terms of hype as the threes did. Personally, right now, my size 13 is going for about 400. Last sale, as you can see, 415. Um, if I were to sell locally, I, I guess I'd be lucky to get about 400 because most of the stores around here um, offer you StockX payout or less, which I get it. They got to make money, but it kind of sucks for you as a reseller. So, you know, I'd be comfortable taking four. It, they are my size, so I'm kind of debating on whether or not what to do. So I'm kind of hoping you guys in the comments, if you've made it this far, will let me know whether or not you think I should keep them or not, or if you think I should get rid of them now before they kind of go down in value more. Now, one of the last things I want to touch on in this video is how well put together the actual manual drop was on the Mom and Air website. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had such an easy experience purchasing sneakers or just anything I really wanted in general, given how everything is so bot heavy lately. The way it worked is you literally refresh the website at noon, like 12 on the dot. They had a buy here now. I was able to add it to my cart and immediately... I was in a queue and within two minutes I was inputting my, you know, buying and shipping information and that was that. It was that simple and here you guys have them in the video about a week later. So I really want to give a shout out to Amam and Air for doing a great job at the actual manual release. Uh, us manual users, we were hopefully able to get as many pairs as we could, you know, hopefully for the personal or whatever it may be. But yeah, shout out to them. Ultimately, guys, I think this sneaker may end up being in my top 10 for sneaker of the year, especially for 2021, just because I think the whole collaboration has been dope. Uh, everything from the colorway itself to the materials used, as you guys can see, these are the laces. I'm also going to include the optional laces that you can swap them out with in just a second. I personally really appreciate the tips on the laces. I think it's dope that they have the metal on them, in this case, silver. But yeah, I think I would personally just rock the burgundy laces just because it overall complements the sneaker better. I think that the cream colorway in most things has been taking over in general. But closing statements, guys, as we, you know, near the end of this video and just try to wrap it up. I'm really torn on whether or not I should keep them. I am lucky to hit on them for retail. Again, retail is $225. If I were to go ahead and resell them, I'd probably make about $175 bucks if that um, that's selling them for about 400 bucks or so locally. Honestly, as I record this video and I look at them here, I don't think I can get rid of them, man, especially because I haven't been hitting that often. And I don't know. They've kind of got a story to tell. I think that they're a dope collab. And I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. So let me know um, what you guys thought of this video. Let me know if you made it this far. Let me know what you've copped recently if you were able to Check out any of my most recent videos like on the Cool Gray 11 blog I did. And as always, guys, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for cooking with the kitchen. Stay safe and uh, more videos and more heat in the future. Take it easy, guys. Peace.